This is Alpha Theta's latest offering, the DDJ GRV6. Designed for DJs who want to do more than just mix and perform, but truly express themselves musically, this controller is perfect for those who love live creative remixing. Now, this unit comes with everything you'd expect from a top tier mid range controller, including large jog wheels, a club standard layout inspired by the CDJ3000 and DJM A9, and full compatibility with both Record Box DJ and Serato DJ. But what really sets a DDJ GRV6 apart is its groove circuit feature, which lets you easily remix your tracks on the fly. So whether you're blending tracks or performing live remixes, the GRV6 delivers a versatile and unique DJing experience. But let's cut to the chase. If you're new to DJing and working with a big budget, between the FLEX 4 and this, the GRV6 is objectively the better choice. However, if you're deciding between the DDJ FLX6 and the GRV6, I'd strongly recommend investing in the GRV6 and here's why. The effects section on the GRV6 is far superior. It features a dedicated knob that lets you easily select the effect you want to use, along with multiple buttons to choose which specific channel the effect applies to, unlike the FLX6, which requires multiple button presses to achieve the same result. It also offers more master output options, including a TRS master out, while the FLX6 only provides RC outputs for both the master and booth. So if you're a DJ planning to bring your controllers to venues with professional speakers or if you have pro-level speakers yourself, RC outputs simply won't cut it as TRS outputs are much better, providing a balanced, cleaner, and higher quality sound. But don't get me wrong, the GRV6 does have a few flaws that can be bothersome, especially at this price point and we'll go over those in a bit. Anyway, let's dive into the details and see how the DDJ GRV6 stacks up starting with its main claim to fame, Groove Circuit. So this feature allows you to freely manipulate drum parts and create new remixes on the fly. Let's break it down, starting with Drum Swap. So with just a push of a button, you can swap the drum sections of any track with different loops. With this, you can completely change the feel and vibe of a track, and to help you get started, Alpha Theta includes a free pack of over 40 drum loops in various genres, which you can download right out the box. I personally found Drum Swap really fun, especially when you get really creative. Anyway, to take this even further, you can also layer effects on these drums, like doing beat rolls, or using the drum release effects. And you can even capture the drum parts of any track to add them to your drum bank for later use. Overall, the Groove Circuit feature really sets the DDJ GRV6 apart from other controllers, especially by taking full advantage of the hottest innovation right now, stems. So if you're looking to remix on the fly and have a solid DJing experience, I can't think of a better controller to use than this one. For Serato DJ users, the Groove Circuit feature has been remapped to give you a more intuitive way to access your stems effects. So this remap section allows you to apply effects like Roll, Trans, Echo Out, and Delay to individual stems of a track whether it's the drums, bass, vocals, or melody. Speaking of DJing experience, what makes the GRV6 ideal for both club DJ veterans and beginners looking to get into the Pioneer DJ slash Alpha Theta ecosystem is its layout. The GRV6 inherits its design from the CDJ3000 and DJM A9, giving it a familiar professional feel that's intuitive for any skill level. First off, the large jog wheels are similar in size to those of the 3000s. While the jog wheels don't quite match the premium feet of the 3000 jogs, they're actually more similar to the 2000 Nexus jog wheels, which is still definitely an upgrade from the touch capacitive jogs found on the FLX6. Looking closely, the sides of the GRV6 jog wheels have a unique design. They're not a perfect round shape like the CDJ jogs, but they're also not square like the FLX6 jogs. It's kind of in between, giving it a grippy and distinctive feel. That said, 
When it comes to the other components like the faders, knobs, and buttons, there's a familiar feeling here that's much like the FLX6. While the jog wheels are indeed better, the rest of the hardware is more in line with what you'd expect from mid-range controllers like the FLX6. So these components aren't as refined as those on higher end gear like the FLX10, but they still do the job they're designed for. So overall, everything works and feels decent for the price. Now despite the vast array of features, the GRV6 maintains an intuitive and sophisticated design. Its matte black finish and ergonomic layout make it easy to navigate, with the groove circuit section positioned cleanly above the performance pads. And the minimalistic indicators in the mixer section keep things simple, although perhaps a bit too simple, as I do wish there were indicator lights in the knob section. Now even with all its advanced features, the controller's design ensures that you won't accidentally hit the jog wheel while working with the groove circuit feature. And to support this ergonomic design, the performance pads like the 3000s are located above the jog wheels. So this layout might feel different for DJs accustomed to traditional Pioneer DJ controllers like the FLX4 and 6, but it works well for those who want to get accustomed to the club standard setup. The only part that might take some getting used to for controller DJs is the location of the pad modes which are placed just below the performance pads. The performance pads themselves are the same size as those on the 3000s. But one downside is that they aren't RGB, which is a bit of a disappointment given this unit's price tag. But for me, what makes the GRV6 absolutely worth it is its effects section. Its layout is inherited from the DGM A9, and I'm happy to say that selecting effects and choosing where to apply them feels intuitive and natural. So transitioning from the GRV6 to the FLX10 or even a higher end mixer feels seamless because of this universal design language. Unlike the FLX6, whose effects section for me leaves a lot to be desired. Anyway, it's not just the effects that make the GRV6 stand out over the FLX6. Another key reason I prefer the GRV6 is its superior inputs and outputs. Unlike the FLX6, the GRV6 is equipped with two mass routes, RCA and TRS, and one RCA booth out. That extra TRS master out is crucial when you're DJing live, as TRS connectors provide a balanced signal, significantly reducing interference, and delivering a cleaner, more professional sound. And speaking of sound quality, the speakers I rely on for my mobile gigs in medium-sized venues and events are the Harbinger V4412s. With their 12-inch woofer and high-output sound, they're perfect for intimate spaces where sound precision is key. Plus, with Bluetooth streaming, a built-in digital mixer, and advanced app features, the V4412 offers flexibility and control, making it just as reliable for indoor performances as it is for smaller outdoor gigs. And I got my V4412s from Guitar Center because they simply offered the best deal. Not only can you demo the speakers in store, but Guitar Center also has great deals on a wide range of new and used gear including the V4412s and the DDJ GRV6. So if you're looking to upgrade your DJ setup or even get one started, Guitar Center is the place to go. Now speaking of upgrades, one of the standout features of the GRV6 is its Smart Roll 3 selector. The selector allows up, down, and left right tilting in addition to the standard rotation and push functions. So you can quickly move through your playlist, media browser, and tracks. The Discover button also adds value by helping DJs quickly find tracks that match the vibe of the current song. Now, it's also worth mentioning that the GRV6 offers multi-device compatibility, supporting Recordbox DJ for both Mac and Windows and iOS and Android. All in all, the GRV6 is a strong mid-range controller, perfect for DJs who want to get creative with live remixing or simply add more fun to their sets. The Groove Circuit feature makes on-the-fly remixing easy and the effect selection inspired by the A9 is a godsend for a controller in this mid-range category. And with TRS and RC outputs, the GRV6 is ideal for professional venues and DJs using more robust speakers. Now, while the lack of RGB performance pads, fewer indicator lines on the knobs, and the overall decent feel of some of the components are minor drawbacks, the GRV6 still offers an excellent value for DJs looking to spice up their DJing or get started on the right foot. So if you're choosing between the FLX4, FLX6, or the GRV6 for just a bit more, I'd say the GRV6 is a better investment.